Africa, perhaps the most culturally diverse continent on Earth. South of the Sahara, 3,000 ethnic groups speak more than 1,000 different native languages. For millennia, the people walked lightly on a land of hardship and beauty. But the arrival of Europeans 500 years ago brought changes that still resonate today. The continent was carved into colonies, creating political borders with little thought of ethnic boundaries. Today, all 37 countries south of the Sahara are independent, though ethnic disputes still remain and the people struggle with drought and disease. But Africans have a bounty of resources, mineral riches, abundant wildlife, and glorious wilderness. Most importantly, however, they have a spirit that endures. You're here. Come, come. Sit, sit. Here. Uh, I want you to build a team uh, to enter the sub-Saharan desert for you, okay? So, uh, I want you to find the product that is perfect for sub-Saharan uh, people. I want that sub the sub-Saharan countries will be flourished with our products. Okay. okay? You understand? Yes. Yes. Then go. Okay. Go. Thank you, sir. Yes. Hello everyone, thanks for your time to join this meeting. Since I don't want to waste our precious time, let's just move on to our topic, uh, topic discussion. So the thing is, our CEO want me to expand our business to Subsahara market. So do you guys have any idea? How about Kenya? Uh, since it's like uh, in since it's like sanitary and hygiene awareness, and it is also the legal market of East, East Africa. Uh, it would be perfect for our product that is body wide. Okay, so how can we enter the market? How about we use this strategic alliance? Uh, like, we recruit the local people because I think it is will be easier for the Africans to trust local people rather than the foreigner people. So, I think we can use personal approach to the local people first. Um, since they are using African language, so we can adapt African language in the packaging. Um, how about we make an appointment to help a seminar in there? Do you have any relation? Um, if I'm not mistaken, his name is Mr. Osas, and he is a good networking in retail business. Okay, I will contact him then. Okay. Okay, what about the pricing strategy? Uh, I have researched the price. The price range will be 0 0.75 until 2.4 dollar per pack in which a pack will be consist of 84 seats in which uh, when a person uses 3 seats a day he or she could use a pack for 28 days in which per day uh, will be 0 0.03 until 0 0.09 dollar and I use the standard of the income for a person 1.25 dollar per day in which uh, the body wipes will be present 2.4 until 7.2 percent of their income. Do you have anything else? Uh, and I have uh, data from Euro Monitor International that uh, Sub-Saharan GDP will increase year by year. So along with that, we could also increase our price until we can reach the profit as we expected. Kenya is still on an upward momentum in the quest to make it easier for entrepreneurs to do business here. According to the World Bank Group, Kenya is now at position 92 out of 190 economies surveyed. In the ease of doing business report, Kenya ranks among the top five countries in sub-Saharan Africa. Mauritius, Rwanda and Botswana lead the pack of economies within which conducting business is easy. South Africa and Kenya follow in that order. The reforms that helped Kenya better her ranking include reduction of time taken to comply with tax obligations to just over a week, removal of stamp duty fees for nominal capital, as well as enhancement of electricity connection processes. Even then, the country is reported to be grappling with a number of challenges, chief among them multiple construction permits, 
power interruptions and registration of property. In Kenya, transferring a property takes about 61 days compared to the global average of 51 days. The full report will be officially launched on Wednesday in Nairobi. Patrick Igunza, the big question. Okay, so let's talk with the workers. Um, well, according to data, Sub-Saharan Africa is the regional with the uh, highest level of the poverty. And also, there is a sanitary problem in there. Yeah, and the unpredictable climate also results in the lack of water and it will lead to dirty water. So, I think by opening our product, Ghetto Body Wipes, we can offer them a solution. Okay then, maybe we'll focus on how to build the brand and the CSR. And I have to emphasize that we have to expand to the one of the country in Sub-Saharan and we need to build the awareness about health in terms of sanitary. Well, maybe we can, we have to do the local, approach with the local people by making alliance with them. And also we can conduct a seminar uh, how important cleanliness is. And the next step is we can export our product in there, but the problem is the logistic and the infrastructure there is has not been adequate enough. So by uh, asking help from Mr. Osas, I think he can offer us a solution by opening store in there or opening in retail. Mm -hmm. And also, if the GDP of the country is increased year by year, we also can increase our product so in the sub Hello, is this Mr. Osas? Yes, I'm Ufu Fe Fe Fe, Onye Te Me Fe, Ukwe Mo Be Mo Sas. Ufu Fe Fe Fe, Onye Te Me Fe, Ukwe Mo Be Mo Sas. Okay, I'm Faiz from Rikit Binky Sari Indonesia. I've heard that you have a good networking and retail business. Yes, of course, of course. I'm the best here. I'm the best. Okay, we would like to expand our product to your country. So, can we discuss about the detail? Okay. When I will meet you? Um, how about next week? Alright then, alright. I will see you next week. Okay, thanks sir. With this dental body wipe, so my body become cleaner and I don't have to be worried anymore because there is no water in my home. Thank you. No, I have solution to clean my face. This is dental body wipe. Yeah, thank you, dental. My body is clean now.